Peter. Terrific day for the team last Saturday. How did Black Caviar pull up? Yeah, she's come through it well. She hasn't done a lot since, obviously. Been down and spent a couple of days down the beach and that, but uh, all in all, come through it pretty good. So she's ready for her next assignment on Saturday against Farlap in the Caulfield Cup? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, I think we'll have to bypass that and we'll go to the Moyer on Cox Plate Day. And the rest of the team, Kings Rose and uh, Luanette Forever? Yep, all good. Uh, Kings Rose will head towards Cox Plate, all being well, and Luanette Forever will go to the Waterford Crystal Mile on his way to the Emirates. Looking to Saturday, start off in the Norman Robinson, two runners from your team, Chieftain Jack and Vituri. Uh, first off, Chieftain Jack, uh, still a maiden after six start. Yeah, both maidens, but both show staying promise. Um, uh, listen, I don't think we're going to have an overly strong bunch of horses here, so there's a chance they'll both take their place. Chieftain Jack, sort of strong dower on pace tight, just sort of keeps grinding away. Vatavai, uh, he'll be sort of back in the ruck, needs a genuine tempo and will be strong late. Uh, but Vatavai is probably more a next preparation horse. Chieftain Jack, whether he's got the class, but you know, we're probably going to have a throw at the stumps with both horses. With Chieftain Jack, do you think the step up to 2000 will suit him? Yeah, I think both horses will be ideally suited for the trip. Um, 2000, they've been looking for it, so uh, not a worry there. Uh, highly recommended in Covenant Class run in the lightweight Australia Stakes over 1400. Highly recommended coming off the fourth last time behind Collar at Flemington. Yeah, he raced well there. Um, probably just wanted the run. It loomed up to win it at about the furlong and ran out of gas. So he's come on a lot. He's a big gross colt. So uh, 1400 suits him ideal on the way to the Carbine Club. So I expect him to be very competitive Saturday. Covered in Class uh, got away with a soft one first up at Seymour the other day. Um, did a good job, ridden a little bit quiet and came from the back. Uh, he was over raced at his first prep, so hopefully if he settles uh, on Saturday as he did first up, uh, he can be competitive as well as he's always shown us the ability to suggest he's up to this class. Bout of the court runs in the 1400 fillies handicap. Had a soft kill on the Provincials and a maiden. There's just no races for these restricted fillies this time of the year, so unfortunately she's going from a Matoa maiden to an open fillies at Caulfield on a Saturday. Bit of a jump, but the filly has got a bit.